every coffee connoisseur knows that grinding your beans fresh will get you the best results when brewing your coffee. And that's why I was excited to try out the Stresso Discovery 2 electric coffee grinder. Let's look at the unboxing and then we'll talk about whether or not it lived up to my expectations. So here's the Stresso Discovery 2 electric coffee grinder. Let's see what we got here. Slides off. Crafted for quality, brewed on the go. Destructions. Funktionen. We don't need those. Uh, that was a USB cable. Here's a little travel bag. You got some cleaning tools. And then you have the grinder itself. That's for adjusting your grind. And then I guess that's where your coffee grounds go. Hmm. Oh yeah, it must come must come down into here into this container. Then you got your uh, button up here. That's locked in place. Okay. There you go. There's the Stresso Discovery 2 coffee grinder. I am looking forward to trying this out. So I'd like to thank Stresso for sending me this grinder. I really enjoyed using it and testing it. And they sent me this to review. They have not paid me for my review. And my opinions are all my own. All right. So let's get into it. Um, first off, the first thing that I noticed in the unboxing was the weight of this thing. It's made of metal. It weighs a pound and a half. It can double as a security device. You know, you could club someone over the head with this thing. It's uh, pretty impressive at the bulk of it. It's very simple to use. Once I got things dialed in, it's great just in the morning opening this up popping my beans in, closing it up, hitting the button up here, and letting it run. It shuts off automatically. I don't have to worry about turning it off. And to me, that's one of the best features of it, the auto shut off, because knowing that I can hit the button and then go through preparing everything else, I don't have to listen to see if it stopped grinding or anything like that. Really a great product that I've enjoyed using. Let's hit some of the details of this device and then, um, and then I'll give you my final thoughts. So the Stresso Discovery 2 has 48 settings that you can use to tailor your grind from a coarse French press to a really ultra fine espresso. It's very convenient, like I said, one click start, automatic pause and shut down. The battery is long lasting. You can charge it with your uh, type C USB cable and charges up in about an hour and a half. And I can tell you that I've used it for 10 days straight and not had a problem with it. It's very portable. Like I said, it weighs about a pound and a half and you can take it to travel uh, for remote work or you can just leave it on your counter like I do because of, it's got a nice small size. One of the things that I really like about this thing is how quiet it is. My other electric grinder sounds like a wood chipper. And I was always, you know, like trying to find the right time to use it in the morning. I would cover it under blankets so it wouldn't make so much noise. That's how loud this thing was. But this, I just put it on the countertop and let it run and it doesn't make a ton of noise. The aluminum construction of this thing is really durable and I mentioned it before, it feels really hefty in the hand. And so you don't need to be concerned about kind of knocking this about or anything like that. Not that I would knock it about, you know, because you've got parts in here that you don't want getting out of alignment. But if it takes an accidental fall, you don't need to worry about it breaking because there are no plastic parts on this thing. 
This holds about 20 grams of coffee, and that's usually right about what you want if you're doing a pour over or something like that for that single serving. It's gonna get you exactly the amount that you need and grind it easily, quickly, and conveniently. No product is perfect, and there were a few things regarding this grinder that I wouldn't say are um, problems, but they just kind of threw me for a loop. The first is the charge indicator. Immediately after I started using it the first time, the four light charge indicator went down to two lights. And it's been sitting there ever since. So this is not a very accurate representation of the charge of the battery. So you need to be aware of that. The other thing too is that adjusting this, it took me a little while to dial it in because in the book it talks about numbers, you know, like 20 through this, 40 through that. And this is only numbered, well, it's numbered from zero to 11. And so if you wanna get 30, you gotta make three revolutions of this. And I didn't realize that at first and it took me a little while to dial it in. Again, not a big problem. If you are going to be traveling a lot, maybe camping or something like this, while having an electric grinder would be great. I honestly think a small hand grinder would be, would be better than this because it's a pound and a half and a small hand grinder probably weighs half a pound, weighs a third as much. So that's something else to consider as well. But those are just kind of some small things that I found with it. Overall, I really like this product. If you like kitchen gadgets, if you like coffee gadgets, the Steresso Discovery 2 is a great little gadget to add to your kitchen. Check it out today. There's a link in the description. Once again, thanks to Steresso for sending me this to test it out. And I'll talk to you next time with another review coming for you. Bye. If you like kitchen gadgets, if you like coffee gadgets, I think the Steresso, I cannot get those words out.